July 18, 2019, Thursday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, hearing the voice of the Lord from the burning bush, said to him, When I go to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, if they ask me, What is his name? What am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, This is what you shall tell the children of Israel. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and tell them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me and said, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in Egypt. So I have decided to lead you up out of the misery of Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. Thus they will heed your message. Then you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent us word. Permit us then to go a three days' journey in the desert, that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord, our God. Yet I know that the king of Egypt will not allow you to go unless he is forced. I will stretch out my hand, therefore, and smite Egypt by doing all kinds of wondrous deeds there. After that, he will send you away. The Word of the Lord The Responsorial Psalm The response is, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He greatly increased his people and made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts he changed so that they hated his people and dealt deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He sent Moses his servant, Aaron whom he had chosen. They wrought his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord.